hi you're welcome in case this is your first time of coming across my channel or this video i want to tell you that the voice you're listening to at the background belongs to grace and i'm a content creator that is currently based in the city of owere imo state nigeria if you're my returning subscriber thank you today we are going to be plying through this naked air Iagwa road down to number one Naze Junction. Of course, this road br brought about several controversies, especially that of last two years. Several comedians they use this road for comedy, calling on the state government to do something. But of course, from this video, you can see that this road is already well constructed. And I want to use this as an awareness that this road was commissioned by the former governor of Imo State, Emeka Iedioha and thank god that this current governor uh a kind of a uh, facilitated the construction of this road and trust me this road is the road that links nekede and iagwa and nekede and iagwa there are towns that are located in nowhere west of course and not just that they are located in nowhere west nekede iagwa houses the most famous higher institutions in nowhere nekede houses the well talked about and the best place Polytechnic in Nigeria, which is the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Owere, and Iagwa houses the, of course, well known Federal University of Technology Owere. And these two towns, of course, are in Owere West. One of the things that you will see in this road, or you will notice while we apply this road, is the different um, buildings, both the shops. Um, business centers are along this road and that was one of the reasons that made everyone to have an outcry when this road was a mess because it was a disadvantage and a bad business for all the business owners the road you see by the right that goes straight the welter road uh goes straight to the federal polytechnic um nekede Owere. that is their school gate and this is the well talked about poly junction okay now you can see how businesses are closed along this road that's why i said that when this road was a mess all the business owners the people who had lungs around here everyone was crying although you could still see all the shops but of course it was not accessible especially during the raining season okay you will see that bike people they will not be able to ply this route even the vehicles there were always increments and in transport fare we are using our legs ah god assessing this road was just not it okay we are currently at assemblies junction please if you know this route very well maybe you schooled either in futo or in nekeve please mark your attendance i want to hear you and if you don't uh, know this route very well maybe you can as well send it to those who you know must have mentioned here one or two times so that they will see the current state of this road okay so immediately after this um assemblies junction you will see these deaths that have been there for like ages guys let me tell us something about this road too when this road was inaugurated or commissioned sorry by the former state governor his excellency imeka Edoha, there were rumors that it was going to be a double lane but of course you can see it was just a single lane and i must say that if this road was to be a double lane it would be better uh, judging from the fact that especially during the evenings you always see traffic in all of these junctions that are here okay and this road too you will see the uh, the gutters along littered with dirt and all of that i think too that the residents or the business owners they have a lot to do about that i mean you are the one that is using this place you should be able to know that you need um what's it called maybe refuse dorms or refuse beings for you to discard your waste now we are at maternity junction they well talked about maternity junction from the right this road that you see this vehicle going to you go to Umokomoche Umofomocha. From there too, you get to the main gate of Federal Polytechnic Nekede. Of course, if you are a former student of Federal Polytechnic, 
Polytechnic Neke there, I want to tell you that the main school gate is no longer at Umuerim. It is now located at Umofocha. That's that South Africa side. Okay. And you can see what I was saying about the dirty or well already filled gutters. I would not know why it's like that. And trust me too, one thing is even um, not minding the well constructed road i think because of the lack of drainage or maybe because of course the drainage we are already filled with that even during rainy season you can as well see overflows on this road yeah okay and guys another thing you will also notice on this road is all the shops that are here they increase their rent immediately this road was constructed it was as if they were all waiting for the government to come and do something then every one of them they increase their rent there were there were a lot of plazas that you know started here you can see from this place you can see uh the right hand side the plaza that we passed and all of that and these plazas or these buildings they collect huge sums of money to the extent that even people there were rumors that it was only yahoo boys that would kind of patronize them but trust me any business um center or any building that is in a well uh, good place or maybe just a place that people are expecting uh, to boom of course people customers business owners they always patronize them but then after the first year that's when you know if they return the houses or if they return the buildings or the shops then you will be sure that of course that it is booming but if you see after the first year or second year people going out you see that it's not booming yeah and we are currently at human race junction okay to the right if you go straight you go into umuakari or something like that as human race you will see several villages you see several um things inside there there are several estates i heard that when that human race um nazi when they were selling lands when they started the development started of course you can buy land of 300,400 but now to get the land there is from 10 million naira and now you can see the plazas like i said from the right hand side or from the left hand side you see this plaza zanko plaza it tells you several things and here too guys this is the well-known cluster market this was built by the former governor of Imo state rochas okorocha it was constructed and that was when development started in this particular place there are several outside persons that are living here they have um you see i'm outside here not really the main one that is inside the town but they have places that they are living here now if you enter inside this cluster market you see huge buildings but of course much persons are not there but this is a well thought out development because it made people that are from iagwa and then people that are from naked there instead of going directly to douglas market there are several things they can buy just from this cluster market okay and then the transport fare is also cheaper for them now we are almost at number one nazi junction and one of the things that have changed too is the roundabout that was formerly at um number one nazi junction currently there is no roundabout there but we have traffic lights that is there they just demolished the roundabout and by the left hand side there too you see the air force base now the demolition of the roundabout has diminished uh the tendency of you know vehicles being stuck there like the traffic and all of that but of course you know in nigeria <sighs> commuters you know drivers they don't obey traffic at all at all these guys they don't even obey traffic so in the evenings you see all of them jump pack trying to pass at the same time all of them trying to move at the same time causing traffic unless it's air force people they come here and intervene okay and then by the right hand side leads is a road that leads you to agbala nazeulako that is a road basically if you follow straight 
you are headed to Aba Road, then directly opposite us here is uh, Wasisi Road. It will lead you to Road Safety Junction. And then as we are headed now, we are headed to town. I want to quickly stop this video here. Thank you for watching. This is the current state of Iagwa Nekede Road. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel, share to other people, and I'll see you next time. Bye.